Hello everyone, here in this video today we will be talking about the prior permission of the registration process to establish and run a private educational institutions or the schools or the training center under section 4 of Assam non government Educational Institution Act 2006. So today we will be we will be uh, demonstration demonstrated demonstrating all the details regarding the documentation part as well as regarding uh, the online process how we can fill the forms digitally online and you can submit for the approval so initially you need to go to the uodb.gov assam.gov.in website in this website i will be providing the link in the description below you can directly move to this website and once you are into this website you will be showing this type of window in which you need to select services once you click on online services from here you will be showing this window which i open right now uh, in this window you need to self register yourself initially at the time if you are first time if you are using this portal or this website then uh, you need to register yourself by putting your email and mobile number in which you need to also verify the OTP uh, which uh, be sent from this portal after verification your user ID and password will be created according to the email ID you set and the password you set once you are done with this you need to fill this form as a common application form for this you need for this you need to click here to apply now once you click here to apply now there will be a process uh, there will be a like uh, need to give in details about your institutions or uh, the uh, candidates or the members of how many members you are there for this after the successful registration uh, in this common application form you will be getting a UBI number which will be needed at the time of application for the society uh, for the school or, uh, or the like uh, registration for the schools or the educational institution under some government act uh, section 4 of act 2006 you need to give here the unique business identification number if uh, you are not able to produce here the UBI number you will not be allowed to proceed with the application that's why to proceed with the application initially you need to get the UBI number by duly filling or online applying this common application form the entire process how to get the ubn number and how to apply this common application for form i made an another individual video in which i have discussed in details and i show i, I have shown uh, like uh, how we can get the ubn number instantly you can watch the video description uh, in the description i have provided the link for this video as well in the i button here right now you can see the i button in which by clicking you can watch this video to how we can apply uh, for the common application for uh, to get the UBN number let's move to right now I, I assume that you are done with the UBN and uh, all the registration uh, self register portal in this portal that part you have done and then now you need to click on this investor login there will be two option one will be login for excise and PCB taxes services another will be login with the other services you need to click here in this login for the other services once you click here you need to put the email id and password which you have uh, set at the time of self register uh, and for the ubn or the self registration portal which i have shown and uh, i discussed in this uh, register portal so after registration you will get email id and password once you put the email id and password here you, uh, by duly putting the this CAPTCHA once you click on login you will be showing and you will be moved to this type of window in which here you will wish uh, your name will be displaying whatever the name you have set your institutions or the your personal uh, organization name or the your name will be displaying here and then in the left so right side you will be showing this type of options once you click here apply for services then you will be uh, moved to the another drop down it's like view all services once you click on this view all services you will be showing a, a selection form in which you need to select the a specific 
online application for which you are applying. Like if I search here education, you will be getting the all related educational institution or educational uh, private schools. Uh, that's all registrations link and uh, their forms will be displaying here. So if I'm talking about right now elementary education, the same things is available for the secondary education and the higher education. Application for a prior permission. Prior permission is mandatory to get the application for the registration of higher education or elementary education or like uh, secondary education. So initially you need to get the prior, prior permission to establish and run the private institutional or educational institution. Uh, so all these things you can see here. If I select here and click on this, you will be showing uh, one undertaking which you need to download this option. I have already downloaded this is the undertaking which you need to self declare yourself that you are applying for uh, this to get the approval from the authority for the registration or the establishment of, uh, of a private institution. So once you click on this uh, like uh, undertaking once you download then you can click here to proceed to apply. Once you click on this proceed to apply, it will be showing this type of main form, which form you need to fill for the your, for the like prior permission or the for the registration purpose. So here as you as I can uh, see as you all of we can see like you need to put here the, as I have told you earlier, then you need to put unique business identification number, UBN number and then the organization or the trust or the society name here. So I recommend all of you to apply from a society, from an NGO or the, from an organization, not from the individual side. Because if you are applying for the individual side, then there is a less chance to get the approvals from the authority. So that's why you need to create a society. So how to register a society, how to form a society, I have already made the videos. That's all the online process. You can uh, digitally apply for the society registration. In the online um, by the online application as well as the same process for the trust so i recommend you to go uh, through the society if you are not already registered a society then you need to register a society the process already i have discussed and the video link in the description below you can watch how and uh, where to register a society where to get the society registration certificate so all these th uh, things will be uh, taken in into that video I have discussed in this video so right now I am uh, in this form as I told you here you need to put the organization name the society name the same process you need to select here the uh, like uh, state districts and the address you need to put email phone number pin code and then why I told you to apply from a society because here or they are asking for the members of the organization. So definitely there is uh, like uh, they are recommending you to apply from a society or the organizations or from a trust. So here you need to give all the members list and address all details everything. Uh, here especially they have like recommended you whether registered under the registration of Societies Act 1860. That's why I recommend all of you to initially first of all get a society registration and then you apply for the uh, like uh, prior permission for or the license or the registration for private school or institutions under the some government so here you need to put the school name all details uh, which stage primary stage middle stage secondary high secondary stage which class you want to select you, you can select from here rural semi urban or urban if you are in town or municipal board then you can select R1 otherwise village or semi R1 uh, like the same process here you need to put uh, the schools or institution names within a 1 kilometer 3 kilometer 5 kilometer 10 kilometer whatever the school secondary primary high secondary measurement of land should be a medi butter land and then the management scheme how we will run the uh, like rules and regulation of the schools institutions you can uh, right here you need to write so for all this documentation part you can personally contact me or contact us regarding all this documentation or the online process or the application process uh, right now oh, we move to the what would be the intake capacity class wise class 0 to 1 1 to 3 whatever the 5 6 7 8 
Intake capacity means how many students you have, uh, like uh, capacity uh, for the how many students you have seat capacity or the how many like uh, rooms are available. That's all you need to put here. So if you are a residential hostel facility uh, providing in your institution, then you need to select yes. Otherwise, no. Same thing. If you are semi-residential, if you are uh, providing hostel for the few students or the few class class students then you need to mention everything here in details for the same if your institutions or the building is in under construction then how many time uh, like uh, what would be the time frame within how many days or how many month it will be complete you need to put everything here so this is the process after declaration you need to uh, give this CAPSA. Th this will be automatically selected under which department or the directorate you are applying. So after this odd verification, you can simply submit or draft. So the next in the next video, we will be showing you how the documentation part need to be complete and what are the documentation part and the fees. So that's all for today. Keep watching our videos and kindly subscribe our YouTube channel so that you can get the notification or any other updates regarding this all things whatever you need thank you so much